Hi, and thanks for joining us to kick off another great semester here on the Buzz Update. I'm Adam Handwerk. And I'm Rachel Askopinski. Here's what's going on around Monco. Montgomery County Community College will be hosting a community observatory night on Wednesday, February 12th from 8 to 10. The event will take place in the college's observatory and on the observation deck in the Advanced Technology Center. Students and the public are all welcome to come and explore the stars and planets during this free event. If the weather isn't optimal for viewing the sky, there will be a multiple short presentation there will be multiple short presentations on a variety of astronomy topics. Visit Monco's event calendar for more information. The school's student veteran organization will be hosting a pancake breakfast at Applebee's on Saturday, February 15th. The event will take place at the East Norton Applebee's located at 2700 DeKalb Pike. The pancake breakfast will take place from eight to 10 and come out to help raise money for Monco Student Veterans Organization. The Drama Club is holding auditions for this semester's play, The Last Days of Judas Iscariot. Auditions will be held in the Black Box Theater this Wednesday and Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m. Callbacks will be Sunday from 10 to noon. Actors of all genders, races, or abilities are encouraged to audition. The play will be performed here at Monco in April. Any questions can be sent to rheller at mc3.edu. And now some Montgomery County Community College fun facts. Did you know out of all 12,805 Monco students, only 34% are full-time and 66% are part-time? Of that enrollment, 32% are minorities. The overall average age of students is 26, and about 16% of students complete their time here. Monco's tuition for out-of-county is $10,350 and out-of-state tuition is $14,970. The school has a total of 401 faculty and staff. The student-to-teacher ratio is 32 to 1. 64% of all students are receiving some sort of financial aid. Monco will be hosting employer days at Central Campus beginning on Wednesday, February 5th. Representatives from companies from throughout Montgomery County will be here to discuss career and internship opportunities available to Monco students. It'll take place in Park House Hall from 11 to 2. If you missed this one, there will be more opportunities like this during the month of February. Monco will be holding a spring club fair on February 12th in Park House Hall from 11.30 to 1.30. Check out the many clubs we have to offer and find a group that shares your interest. If there isn't a club on campus that you think we should have, you can start your own. Come up with a name, mission, objective, and at least four friends for you to set up an appointment with the Student Government Association. And now to Max Gretzula for our newest segment, Sports. Thanks, Rachel. Even though it happened on January 26, we'd be remiss if we didn't acknowledge the loss of Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven others. People around the world are still heartbroken by this tragedy. The Philadelphia 76ers paid homage to the victims by holding a moment of silence before their first game since the losses. Kobe's Lower Marion jersey was on display as well. Our condolences go out to all the families impacted by the horrific tragedy. Kobe Bryant was just 41 years old. The Monco women's basketball team suffered a tough defeat on January 26th at the hands of the Community College of Philadelphia Alliance. Maria Cotteles led the Mustangs in scoring with 12 points. Dre Myers added six points, making two or three shots from beyond the arc. The Mustangs showed effort throughout the contest, but were unable to overcome the size of CCP in the 71-25 loss. Meanwhile, the Monco men's basketball team defeated the Community College of Philadelphia Lions 63-60 later that night in a very physical contest. It was spirit night on the central campus as the crowd brought the energy to support their home team. With 39 seconds left in the game, Seth Compass made a deep three-point basket, giving the Mustangs a lead they would not give back. Compass led the Mustangs in scoring with 14 points. Cameron Reed finished with a double-double, including 13 points and 11 rebounds for Monco. What do you think it took for you guys to really hold CCP down on defense? Uh, I would say just playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Come on, bro. Come on. Talk it, talk. Uh, I would say definitely on, on the defensive end, just playing together. Because like, without, without the team, like we're not good. You feel me? So as long as we play together, play the gaps, rebound, we then we're good. Man. So. The Mustang men are currently on an eight-game winning streak. Monco has partnered with Bucknell University for students to take two summer classes at Bucknell for six weeks while living on campus. 
After completing the program, the students will also have a chance to apply to Bucknell to earn a bachelor's degree on a full tuition scholarship. To participate, apply on the Bucknell Scholarship page before the end of February. Starting the new semester can be a stressful time, and not having a way to reduce the stress can be challenging. So the school will have therapy dogs by the Parkhouse Alt Atrium on main campus. Therapy dogs have been proven to reduce stress and can help connect the people who are in difficult situations. The event will take place on February 5th, 11 to 1. For more information, contact Shara Shank at shank at mc3.edu. If you have no idea what to do with the FAFSA, then come to a workshop on February 5th at 1220 and we'll be able to ask any questions that you might have about FAFSA. These workshops will be held at both Central and West Campus weekly, so if you miss one, you can make it to another. When you go, make sure to have proper documentation with you. The staff at the workshop will be able to help you from there. For more information, check the events calendar on the Monka website at mc3.edu slash events. Receive help paying for classes through financial aid. Go to your My MC3 homepage and click on the word finance. A menu will drop down beneath it. And in that menu, click on the fourth option from the top. It's titled Financial Aid Information. You will, you will then be redirected to the financial aid page. On there, there is a list of all the potential ways that a student can receive financial aid. Find out if you're eligible. Just three months away until graduation, Thursday, May 21st, will mark the 53rd annual commencement ceremony here at Monco. The ceremony will be held at Central Campus in the Health Sciences parking lot. If you think you have enough earned credits to graduate, talk with your advisor to see how you can register for graduation. Registration ends March 31st. Registr register now so you can save your spot. Also this year, the school will be celebrating the class of 1970 in their first 50th anniversary. For more information about time and tickets, go online to mc3.edu slash commencement. And that's all for the Buzz Update. I'm Rachel Askapinski. And I'm Hannah Hanwerk. Stay marvelous, Monko.